just to show y'all, this is what the fuck my hair look like. Another hairstylist would never touch my head ever again. <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. I mean, like, uh, I was supposed to post like two days ago. I ended up not doing it. It's just been a long week for me today. And today we're getting into some tea. We're getting into my experience with hairstylists, why I'm never going back to a hairstylist, like, ever again. Like, another hairstylist will never touch my head, ever again. Like, if they touch my head, it's because they have the talent, girl. It's not because I'm just too lazy to do it myself. It's also a get ready with me. I'm not really going nowhere. Well, I have to go return packages. But by the time I'm done with this, the post office is probably going to be closed. I'm about to go put on some shoes because my feet is really... One second. Let's get into it because, yeah, like, the whole entire process really just pissed me off. So, for starters, um, I washed my face already and I uh, brushed my teeth. I don't think y'all care to see that. So, I'm just putting this toner on my face. I was supposed to vlog my entire graduation picture process, but I wasn't able to because bitches just, like, these people who was doing my stuff really just, like, no matter how much I wash my face, take a shower, makeup is always still trapped somewhere. I got my hair done with this stylist, and um, before then, right, she ruined my entire day because, number one, I scheduled my appointment with her for two days, no, two weeks before I, two or, like, ten days. It was, she had, like, a week to get back to me, more than a week. So, with the stylist, I had reached out to her, and I was like, hey, just confirming my appointment. You know, I gave her, like, three days to reach out to me. She never did. She didn't make me pay a deposit or nothing. You just gotta pay, like, that one dollar deposit. She got a site. You pay, like, a one dollar deposit, and that's it. Anyways, I'm reaching out to her for the past week. I'm like, hey, girl, hey, like, is my appointment confirmed? Like, I'm... I, I need I need some confirmation because, you know, if she going to tell me, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not able, able to be there that day, even though, you know, most likely she would have put it on her site. But some of them just be unprofessional. You know, I'm from Connecticut. It's not much talent here when it comes to getting hair done, makeup done, and all that. I booked with her, like, week before. I'm, like, texting her. I'm like, hey, girl, um, you able to do my hair or not? Like, I just need some type of confirmation. I DM'd her. I emailed her. I texted her number. Never got back to me, right? I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'm going to just have faith faith that she's just going to be available. Thursday's the day I booked my hair schedule on my hair appointment. Thursday was the day that my nail tech told me she would only be available on. So I was going to do Thursday, 3 o'clock was my hair appointment. Thursday, 10.30 was my nail appointment. Five hours in between to get everything done, right? The hair lady, she texted me and she's like, hey, um, can you come in early? I'm like, how early? Because, again, I have my nail appointment. And, yeah, I had cleared my whole day for the hair appointment because, you know, these new hairstylists, they don't they don't be professional. Like, they'll let you know last minute about stuff or it'll take her forever. So I was like, all right, I'll have the whole day. She's like, 1 o'clock. I'm like, um, girl, I have a nail appointment at 1030 and I'm not missing it for you. So I'll be later. Like, the latest I'll be in is 1.30. She was like, okay, okay, that's fine everything is going good so far she's like all right love thanks whatever i'm like okay good mind you my sister had went to her beforehand but when my sister went to her before i should have known because she was late and i was like girl how you late to your own appointment like but if i had to have paid a deposit you would have been mad and you would have charged my car to put max me like 25 dollars for me being late but when you late it's no problem so i'm like something not adding up so i get in her seat and now let me show y'all before i proceed with the story because I'm pissed, like, so, number one, you see my lace. Number two, the lace is lifting. I got it done two days ago. So, I took off my scarf because, like, my hair was part of the get ready with me. Um, Just to show y'all, this is what the fuck my hair looked like. And this is what she posted on her page. And that's why you really can't go based off of these people's work because... You need reviews. Go to people who people know because this is ridiculous. Like, she posted this of me making it seem like this is how my hair looked on her site. But when I left, my hair looked exactly like this. And before y'all start me, I'm not even going to drag her because for real, I did not even reach back out to her because it's just a simple fact that first of all, I felt uncomfortable as fuck in her shop. Like, I felt like if I would have went back, she would have scalped me. She would have bleached my hair. You know what I mean? She would have cut it off. So, 
I was definitely not going to go back in her shop, with, especially with the issue. Like, no, I'm not doing that. So I'm not even going to drag her. And I'm not going to put her out there because, again, I didn't reach back to her. And who knows? Maybe she would have said, oh, yeah, come back and fix it. Maybe she would have fixed it. But, I mean, girl, you had three hours to fix it. And you still did what you did. And I know lace fronts isn't real hair. I'm not expecting every person to be able to be an arrogant Tay. She texted me the day before. She's like, oh, the day before, after I've been reaching out to her for the past week on every little social media outlet, on anything that she advertised us or told us or advised us to text her on. So she reached back out to me. She's like, hey, can you come in 1 o'clock? Like, I have a nail appointment at 10.30. I'll let you know, but the latest I'll be in is 1.30. So then she literally texts me again, like, as I'm running out the Walmart because I'm trying to get to her and be like, come for two. So I'm like, the fuck? Come for two, like, and finish my nails literally at, like, 12.55. So I'm like, come for two, girl. I'm trying to get to you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm running to get to you, and you told me I come for two. Like, now imagine if I was already on my way. Like, it's, you text me five minutes before my appointment is really supposed to be, you know, on the dot. So I'm like, whatever. Turn back around, I go in Walmart, and mind you, she never mentioned what payment method she takes. She never mentioned it on her site. She never mentioned it on nothing. Also, she did not tell me how to do my hair beforehand. So I had to wash my hair, which that's another problem because it's just like, as a stylist, I understand if you don't have the necessities to wash hair and blow dry hair, you can make that clear. I wouldn't want to wash and blow dry everybody's hair too if I was a hairstylist. But I'm just saying, like, girl, you charging that much money, your work's not even that good, and you don't wash and blow dry hair. Mind you, the woman that I wanted to go to, she washes and blow dries hair and it's the same price and she do a better job. She charged me $150. Got there, it was extra. I don't know where the extra money came into play. She ended up charging me an extra five. I don't know if that was for curling my hair, even though, again, you never said that I have to pay extra for you to curl my hair. So I ended up paying $165 because I tipped her, even though the original price was $150. I didn't mind tipping her. That's why I did it. You know, I was like, fuck it, even though I shouldn't have, but it's just common courtesy, you know? Even if she did fuck me up, I feel like it's common cur courtesy. So I get there, I arrived to the appointment, and I texted her, and I'm, because I was standing there for like five minutes, and I texted her, and I'm like, hey girl, like, uh, I'm here and she's like okay come in I just want to announce myself without being in the shop because I don't want her to be that one of those people who just be like oh you just walked in even though I did because like I know where I'm at so she's like okay just come in so I come in I'm still standing there and I felt comfortable again so I leave out because it was like I stood there for like five minutes she, I texted her left the store texted her she said come in came in again was standing there for another like three minutes so I'm like oh fuck no so I leave out and I see her car parked in the front because she's the only car that was able to park in front of her salon so I'm like I know she here like she could at least be like hey I'm coming up like you know she's not saying nothing so I'm like what the hell like I'm feeling hella uncomfortable so I leave I go back to my car and then I walk in again and right now she was like she came out and she literally goes this is exactly what the fuck she did. So I'm holding my wig in my bag. She goes, can I see the wig? <laughs> Hi, hello. Hi, queen. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so I'm like, um, yeah, like the wig is right here. So I hand her the wig and she was like, you can sit down right there. I'm like, where? And she's like, right there. It's the seat. She had the straightest face, no smile, no nothing. I mean, you don't got to be smiling and cheery. But I mean, girl, I'm about to get my hair done. And I'm trusting you with my scalp. Like, girl, you... <laughs> You could give me a hey, you know? So she goes back there and she she holding like a developer battle. So I'm just assuming she's about to bleach my knots. So she's bleaching my knots. She comes like she's doing whatever she's doing in the room for hella long. And then she comes out. So she comes out after bleaching knots, applying bleach to the knots, not even bleaching them yet. They were bleaching in the process of her braiding my hair. So and while she's applying the bleach to the hair, she's taking hella long. Like I was sitting in that chair for maybe like 35 minutes. I've bleached knots before, babes. It don't take that long. Smear it on and then walk out. Anyways, so she um comes out and she's about to braid my hair. Bitch, she had this comb. She take the comb and my hair, yes, my hair at the end, I have, I'm, I'm natural. Like, babe, my hair is not going to be silky and blah, blah, blah. It's silky because, you know, I just washed the deep conditioner, gave it, that, gave it that quality treatment. But it wasn't silky, silky, like, for you to be doing what you was doing, nagging my hair and pulling my hair all types of way. Like, girl, what the fuck? So she parts my hair and she put, yanks the shit. Like, she pulls my hair. She yanks it. Like, you hear it rip. And then she 
like jabs the comb in the side of my hair like that and she did it repetitively like to the point where I was like feeling the, the comb scraping in my scalp so I'm looking back and I'm tucking my head and I'm looking at her like girl you know when you're being rough with your clients I don't care so I'm heavy-handed and I've done a head of hair before my clients will tell me if I'm being heavy-handed and I made them know hey if I'm being heavy-handed let me know because sometimes I am heavy-handed and I don't do it on purpose I'm not trying to hurt you most people, I feel like most stylists should have that common courtesy to say to some people, hey, I'm more heavy handed. Let me know if you're pulling so that your client feel comfortable telling you if you're hurting her. She never said that. And honestly, I have social anxiety. Like, girl, I was sitting in that chair like. <laughs> I had my headphones in, my AirPods. And she's braiding my hair on the side. So now, you know, I've had my AirPods in before when I got my hair done. Most of them will tell me, hey, girl, I'm about to start braiding. Can you take out your AirPods? She's in my thing, knocking the side of my head like this because she's braiding. So she's like, you know, braiding and she's hitting my ear pod, which I know she can feel. And instead of her saying it, her hand at one point even got caught under the ear pod where it lifted up. So now my ear pod was sticking directly on my ear like this. So I'm looking at her like I'm trying to grab my ear pod. But every time I went to get my ear pod on my ear, because, you know, she's not about to keep hitting me like that or hitting my ear pod like that. I was going to take my ear pod out and, you know, she dead ass kept going like she kept braiding and putting her hands in the way of me where i was trying to get my airpods so i was like fuck it if it fall out it fall out like girl what the fuck i'm gonna go in with some mousse to lay the front hole. the whole time she's braiding my hair hella rough she's part of my hair like as if i'm just caucasian like that shit is not gonna hurt girl i am black it is pulling but i'm not tender headed so it didn't hurt it just felt like you could just tell that she's being hella rough with me. If you feel me tugging majority of the time, you should like be like, oh, I'm sorry. No, never said I'm sorry one time. Oh, she braided my hair down and she put on the wig cap. At this point, she sprayed my ear pod with the free spray. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take my ear pods out because I can't. So I take my ear pods out thinking she was about to do something else. No, she walked away. She walked away. I was I'm looking right at her. She's sitting in the room on FaceTime with her friend or whoever the fuck she's on FaceTime with. I'm not gonna assume she was on FaceTime with somebody. So I'm just like, okay, like, you know, what are you in that room for? There's one thing if you're on the phone with your friend plucking my knots, plucking bleaching my knots, plucking my hairline, she's sitting there. So then she comes after I hear the doo doo of the phone, because I took out my AirPods, I just felt hella irritated because it was just like come on like every time i put my airpod in you knocking it out and it's just like okay just tell me take it out and if not i'll just take it out like i'm not about to be sitting here having you knocking my shits on the floor like no so she um so she after i heard the doom of the phone i can not hear the conversation i was not listening i really didn't care i was just on my phone so um as she's on the so as I heard her to do, she comes out the room and she's like, oh, I'm just waiting for your knots to bleach, finish bleaching. You was in the room for 45 minutes. How long do it take knots to bleach? I'm like, okay. I, at this point, I was irritated though because of just how she braided my hair. She go in there, she pluck it, plucking, plucking, plucking. She come out in like 10 minutes. Plucking don't take that long. Um, don't take that short amount of time. I know plucking take way longer than that. You know, I plucked some hair before. It took a good, it took a good minute. So overall, it's like you sat in that room for 20 minutes. No, 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 for 45 minutes after putting this wig cap on me had the shit over my eyes y'all the wig cap was dead ass right here she did i couldn't even see so i moved it myself because it was just like at this point whatever she's like what part are you doing so i took her middle part now here's the problem i think she assumed that i was going to do a side part or something because this side of my wig is more plucked than this side this side is hella thick i don't know if the wig was made like that so i can't really blame her but this part is hella thick like it's hella thick and then this part is like hella slim so now she cuts the wig cap off and she cuts me like she literally cut me on the side of my neck now she didn't even cut me she was about to cut me but i still felt a sting i think she just like grazed the skin but it wasn't enough to bleed and she's using the razor and she's sawing into my neck like right here because where she was doing my ear tabs she's sawing into my neck and i'm moving my head like i was like you're cutting me you know like mumbling it like girl you're cutting me and then i just moved it and she didn't say sorry so i'm like <sighs> Okay, but you got one more time. I promise you, you got one more. Not two, not three, one more. But I ended up giving her like five, you know, I'm scared. She applied a wig, she stick it down. She starts, you just stick down the wig and she starts doing, like trying to curl it. And she pulling my hair like this. And the wig, I can feel the glue like coming up with the side tab. And she just pushes it back down. And she, that's, that's how she did it. Like I can't. So now she's like, you gonna just leave it wavy? I've never met a hairstylist before who says, oh, do you want to leave your hair wavy? Most hairstylists will deadass curl the person's hair just because. And I was like, can you curl it? She never said, okay.
you know what type of curl so when she's pressing my hair with the flat iron she gets to my scalp and through the lace front it's burning me and she's holding it there mad long so i moved my head and i was like it's burning me you know like the shit is burning me and she did it again and again and it's like the more like the more i jerk my hair the longer she held it there she was like how do you want the edges i was like i don't i just want like two little ones in the front and sideburns she didn't even give me sideburns like the bitch what sideburn i said i wanted sideburns what the hell i literally said i wanted sideburns y'all i was looking at my hair i did not like it when i like when i first got it i was just like oh i haven't seen myself with my hair like this in a while so i mean you feel it but it's just like not that good and i was just like to sade i was i sent the video i have a video and i was like you definitely could see the lace but i mean can she do better that's what i was saying like you all be like oh just go back to the stylist can she do better than what she did like no she can't so, and then she recorded me didn't even and that's another thing like why do y'all stylists not ask people if they want to be recorded? Like, y'all just pull out your phone and then start recording me. Like, I have never said you can record me, like, ever. And she didn't specify it on the site. It's one thing if you make it a policy before, be like, oh, I'm going to record you, so please understand that before you book. She never told me that. She just pulled out her fucking ring light. Mind you, I'm ready to go home. I've been in the chair for three hours for no reason because it took you 20 minutes to apply my shit. So I'm like... You didn't even ask me to record me. Another person walked in and she was like, hey, baby. Like, oh, nice. But when I walked in, it was, can I see the wig? So, overall, like, I can't. Like, she pulled up the ring like she records me. Again, this is what she posted. My hair don't look like that. So, I'm like, it is, really is all a lie. When I was looking at it on the site, I was just mad as fuck. Because I'm like, girl, you don't even post all your clients. So, why are you posting mine? Like, you did a horrible job of mine and, you're, and you're, you post mine. So, your girl, that's what it is. And that's why I'm never going back. I didn't even end up getting getting ready with y'all. But, like, I mean, I brushed on my hair. So, um, I mean, I'm ready for the day. I mean, I'm not doing no makeup or nothing. I'm just about to go return this package. But that's why I'm not letting nobody do my hair no more. Because, it's like, y'all inconsiderate as fuck. Y'all don't wash hair. Y'all don't do nothing. Y'all talent is very suppressed. It's very not good for y'all to be charging the amount of money that y'all be charging y'all are rude as fuck y'all be late but then y'all reschedule y'all be late and reschedule the day before within the 24 hours but if we do the same thing all of a sudden it's like oh it's 15 dollars fees and fees 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 but when y'all do it it's fine no it's not okay and bitch that shit pisses me off um yeah i'm gonna start installing my own wigs because i feel like i've installed my own wigs before and they were look they weren't good that's why i installed mine got it one installed because i wanted to see the difference but they look the same like my wig looks like this after my wig looked like this when i installed it myself so i might as well keep trying to learn how to install it myself she's the same glue i use go goes bond and my ear tabs are coming up and i was going to text her and be like my ear tabs are coming up but i'm i don't feel comfortable enough to go back sitting in her chair because she's rude as fuck and even when my sister went there my sister has said that she told my sister she wasn't in a good mood so i mean i ain't gonna go back for her to be like oh bitch what was wrong with my work before I'm not doing it. I'll rather fix my own hair. I'm good. I ended up paying her one sixty five because I tipped her ten dollars, even though I really shouldn't have. I should have just tipped her to five. She took the money and she didn't say thank you. And yeah, I was like, "Are we all staying?" She was like, "Yes." And I was like, "Okay, bye." That was my experience getting my hair done, and I won't be going back to another stylist. I usually do my hair all the time by myself. And I never get my hair done by nobody. I've been doing my hair for my by myself, but I started getting lazy because it's just like hair really takes a long time. But it's just like you I might as well work on my own talent. I was very close to learning how to do my own hair. Like I was, you know, very close. I learned how to bleach my knots. I knew how to do all of that stuff. That's why when I was in her chair, I was expecting a lot more than what she gave. Like it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. And now I gotta go ship this package because the post office is about to close. And I'm about to go show everybody my fuck the bass lace. I'm taking this wig off though because no, like she had me so fucked up. But yeah, this is me. And my senior pictures came out fine, I guess. Like I had to fix it the next day. I understand that lace fronts aren't here. And I understand that your lace is not going to look like your fucking scalp. Not everybody's arrogant Tay. That's like me expecting every stylist to be like arrogant Tay. Arrogant Tay is arrogant Tay for a reason. But it's just like, girl, you charging these high ass prices. You don't wash hair. You don't know, even know how to do hair. You do curling hair and adding fees. You doing the most. The fuck? And then on the time, on her little, little 
booking site you said that the frontal was going to take an hour and some change i think she said like an hour to two an hour and 30 minutes to two hours i was sitting in your chair for like three and a half so yeah anyways that was my story time i'm not even going back to a hairstylist if y'all see me at a hairstylist it's because she can do hair and i have one more stylist that i want to try up here but um not for no lace front y'all charge way too much money for lace fronts for them to be this bad like the edges didn't give like so goodbye i'll talk to y'all later bye